So how many equal guys? How many of you know SQL? Just type yes. Okay. So so most of the people know SQL. Okay. So today class is SQL. Like uh, so, what is SQL? Okay. You may get a different uh, you know a uh, definition from me. Okay. That's uh, I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. See like. Yeah. So SQL means uh, S means structured and Q means query. L means language, right? Okay. So this everyone knows this. Everyone knows this. Okay. Uh, but the thing is, I want to tell you different. Okay. So what is SQL? Um, or what are the main topics and all? I will. I'm going to explain uh, that. Okay. So here the question. Okay. So why language will use? Okay. So why we are calling this as a language and why why language will use? Basically, why we use the language? Just type it or uh, can unmute yourself and then give answer. Okay. Why will use the language? So suppose uh, Hindi or Indian. So that it could be understand. Yeah. To communicate with the database. To communicate. To understand people and English language, simple English yes. language, simple. write the queries. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got, got it. Okay. Like, so to communicate, to communicate others, we'll use the language, right? Then, yes, to communicate uh, others, we'll use the language. That may be, so Hindi means, okay, we'll uh, communicate with the Indians or like uh, English means we'll communicate with the US or UK people. Something like that. Okay, so outside so, so outside country. So if you want to communicate others, okay, we'll go with the languages. So different different languages are there. So we'll use the language and then we'll communicate them. Okay. So then SQL is a language. Okay. Where is the communication? Okay. Where is the communication? Uh, we are using why we are calling it as a language. Okay. Why we are calling it as a language? SQL is a language. Okay. We are saying SQL is a language, right? Okay. So this is also communicating, okay? So where is the communication between? Communication between data and user, okay? Data and users, okay? So there is a structure, there is a structure already there, okay? On structure, whatever the query you ask, okay? Whatever the question, query means what? Question you ask, okay? It will communicate with you, okay? Structured query language, SQL means structured query language, Okay, unstructured. Okay, unstructured. Whatever the question you fire, whatever the question you fire, so that will give the answers to you. That is called a structured query language. That is called SQL. Okay, hope everyone is clear what is SQL. Okay, so SQL is a language where um, will communicate with the data. So here, whatever the question you ask about your data, so it will give an answer. Okay, that is about the SQL. Okay, hope you are get got the answer right. Just type as case, okay. So if uh, if you if you are clear, like so, SQL structured query means okay, structured query language. Just type this, okay. On the structure, you are firing queries. Whatever the queries you want to, whatever the uh, only one person. So what about others? You didn't understand, okay. If you ask the questions, and then so it will communicate with you, okay. That is the structured query language. So for the structured query language mainly we have four commands okay we have mainly four commands what are the commands we have mainly so mainly we have these four commands that is uh, ddl dml dcl and then tcl what is ddl ddl means data definition language okay ddl means data definition language dml means data manipulation yeah. language and then TCL means data control language. TCL means transaction control language. Okay, these are the main four commands are very, very, okay. Four commands are very, very important. In the DCL, DCL means it will only talk about the structure. Structure means what? Suppose if you are to courier something, okay, you will take one box. That is the structure, right? Okay, that is the structure. So structure means it will create a schema or table called as structure, okay? So DDL means, okay, it will talk about only structure. It will not talk about the data. Okay, it will only create the structure, alter the structure. We have a uh, create, alter, drop, 
and truncate. Okay, four commands we have. Okay, here we have a four commands in uh, in DDL. Okay, create means it will create a structure. Alter means okay if you have if you are any if you have any modification than the uh, you know so structure so then you will go with the alter and then if you don't want completely you know uh, clear that structure you, you can go with the drop and then truncate is a uh, DDL command only but this only one command will talk about the data it will clear the data in a table but the table structure remains same okay it will the only this truncate command will talk about the data the remaining all okay these three commands will talk about only structure okay i'm not talking about the data it will it will create so only structure suppose what are the structure create by using create what we will do okay we'll do okay create table table name create view view name create function function name create so create procedure procedure name create trigger trigger name create database database name Okay, whatever you want to create, any structure you want to create, okay, then you will go with the create command only. By using create command, okay, we'll create all these things, okay, we'll create all these things, okay. But so, whatever the structure you created, okay, if you want to alter, okay, so you can go with the alter command that is alter table, table name, alter view, view name, alter processor, processor name, alter function, function name, and then alter trigger trigger name something like that okay so alter is mainly used for used to uh, alter the structure whatever the structure you created and then drop means okay it will drop table table name drop view view name drop procedure whatever the objects in in sql uh, server so for that okay you will use these three commands mainly so we will discuss tranket later for now okay so if even if you want to create a database also okay so we'll go okay so uh, how many of you installed your uh, ssms please okay how many of you are uh, installed your ssms just type uh, yes okay if you okay if you haven't uh, you know installed it okay so i have uh, clearly explained how to install and all okay go to my video okay so uh, go to my channel and then there is a uh, you know a video we have okay so very easy steps Okay, otherwise uh, you can take a help from Ramakrishna or, uh, you know, uh, the person name, what's, uh, you know, the another person name, but Madhu, yeah, yeah, Madhu, okay, you can take uh, Madhu help, okay, so they will help you, okay, yeah, uh, okay, so now uh, let me open the SQL server, okay, once you click on this SQL server, okay, it will uh, open the SQL server, okay. So just a minute, yes, okay. it's opening. Actually, these are the concepts we have in a SQL, okay? We have more concepts also, but uh, we have these are the concepts, okay? Data types and constraints, okay? Indexes, functions, views, joins, okay? Union and difference between the union and joins and user-defined functions, stored processes, temporary tables, stable variables, okay? and then ct okay so we have some queries also and then normalizations okay but the stored procedures and then temporary table table variable derived columns and these are the you know so if you want to learn depth okay this is like sql developer can learn that so but i am going to cover till uh, you know joins joins and then use okay so i will cover till here so if you want to more okay so the videos i have uh, uh, in my youtube channel okay you can go and then watch those videos okay, but i will cover in this session okay this still the joints i am going to cover okay this this week uh, i'm going to next week i'm going to uh, close this class okay yeah so once you open it okay you have to give the server name so my uh, this is the local server right i'm giving the server name okay dot and then click connect okay click connect this is the object explorer okay this is the object explorer here you will have the databases okay so this is a user databases okay if you want to create the database okay you can click on new query okay so what i said to create a database okay create create sorry it's very difficult okay create 
create and then database right okay database and then database name okay what are the database okay if you want to create with the okay uh, test one one okay something like that okay if you want to create a test or uh, you know even test db or test db is already there okay so test one one okay if you want to create that okay you can go and then execute like this okay it will create a database for you okay if you click okay if you right click here okay refresh okay there you can see the uh, test one one okay uh, if you go uh, in detail okay so like kind of okay if you take the sql server see server is a your machine okay your laptop think like that okay server is your machine okay, just uh, but i'm going very basic level but uh, don't get bored guys okay some people may get bored okay but i'm just giving okay so if someone don't know what is the server and then database and then you know something like that okay i'm going with this uh, you know your uh, laptop or machine okay so like whatever the machine you have that you can fill it as a you know server okay server and then there you may have the folders right okay so folders is called a databases okay folder called a is databases something you can think like that and then in folder you may have the files okay files will have the rows and columns okay here you will have the tables okay tables will have the rows and columns okay uh, think like that okay just uh, i'm giving just example here okay so the server okay in the server if you want to uh, store some data something like that okay you have to go with the folder in the folder you will uh, have the files right in the database you will have the tables okay something like that okay so if you go to the tables there is no uh, tables right now okay there are no tables right now uh, so just now we have created the one folder okay just empty okay something uh, empty database we have created right okay even you can go from here you can right click here and then create a new database from here also okay uh, from object explorer also you can create okay you can give the database name and then um, you can click okay so it will uh, you know it will create a new database for you suppose test to, to something like that okay and then click okay and then it will create a database for you okay if you want to delete it just go and then right click and then delete it okay it will delete even if you want to delete the script through just so for the uh, okay um, drop that uh, you know database okay what is the command we have to use okay you have we have to use the drop okay so just now we discussed right okay data definition language so here whatever the structure is created if you want to clean that structure so then you can go with this drop or else if you want to update anything then uh, alter okay so alteration okay so you will go with the alter okay drop database database name something like that okay drop database database name something like that okay you can go and then you can drop it drop it okay so command completed successfully then if you go here and then refresh it okay there is no database okay test one one database is not there okay and okay, let me create it okay and then it, it, it okay the database has been created okay let's uh, you know refresh it now okay so you can go with like use uh, you know test one one like that okay you, now we are in the master database okay that is a system a database okay now we are in the master database okay if you go and use okay use uh, a database name okay it will select the uh, you know whatever the database you want to use okay it will select from here otherwise you can go to the drop down and then you can select okay which, whichever the database you want to select okay so like that you can select and then okay so so for now the structure okay so for we, we required one structure okay if you want to insert the data okay so the database mainly for the inserting the data okay so you want to like um, so whatever the data you want to keep it in uh, your database okay first you have to uh, create a structure structure means what table okay so the table may be like this okay just a minute it's okay table may be like this okay table may have the id and the name and then salary or gender something like that okay gender something like that okay so you have a table columns okay it will create a structure for the table okay so again ddml is only uh, talk about the structure 
it will not talk about the data or we are not going to insert any data and all okay it will create only structure okay it will create only structure it will not talk about the data okay the insertion data okay we are not going to update that kind of things okay that is a different commands we have ddl means data definition language okay it, it's only talk about the structure okay so this kind of structure table structure so we'll go and then create okay so to create the table okay to create the table uh, we will uh, you know create we'll use the create table and then table name okay table name uh, you may have the you no know, uh, so you 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 should follow some uh, you know uh, naming convention okay naming convention like okay if you use okay if you create a table you have to go with the tbl and then if you create a view okay you can go with the vw if you create a function you can go with the function if you create a stored procedure you can go with the usp okay user defined stored procedure okay so like why we are going with the usp okay there are some uh, system defined uh, stored procedures are there okay so microsoft restricted to don't use sp for the stored procedure as a uh, prefix that is the reason okay so if it's a trigger okay you can go with the uh, tr underscore okay like that okay so when you uh, you know the first day onwards okay if you learn that uh, standards okay you will follow that standard so that so uh, so even uh, you end user or even uh, developers okay when you are company also they can understand very clearly like is, is this table or view okay otherwise people may confuse okay by looking at the naming convention people should understand okay what is the table about okay so by looking at the naming convention uh, that is the table or view or and whatever the table you created okay what is the table about okay you should in the naming convention only what kind of data it's there and all so they can they should understand okay so like tbl and then if you want to go with the employee or something like that okay you can go with the employee okay and don't give a space for the okay don't give a uh, something okay if you if you want to write a uh, sorry if you want to write a employee detail something like okay uh, don't give a uh, space between the table names okay use underscore or okay so don't give a space that is the main main thing here and then okay you want is the columns right okay you are creating a table and then you want these columns okay like id name salary and then gender okay so this is the syntax to create a table actually so let me go create table okay and then table name open bracket and then what are the columns you you want to uh, you want to add then you can go and then add the column names like suppose uh, if you want to id okay so id means uh, id means what integer and then um, so like here is the data type okay data type and then uh, you can go with the size actually so here uh, you will have the uh, size something like that okay and then okay this is the column one okay you can fill it as a general i'm uh, i'm writing generally column one and then data type uh, comma Sorry. at the end you should have a comma and then column two okay whatever how many columns you want to create so on so you can create okay columns and then column three okay something like that okay you you can have a number of columns here okay you can have a number of columns okay but uh, each column will have the data type and then size okay each column will have the data type and size okay so what is this data type and all we'll discuss later but to create a table okay we'll go with this uh, you know uh, column name and then data type and then uh, thing okay the same structure will follow here and then open bracket okay we are creating an employee table right so the column one is id um, employee id and then uh, integer okay so if you enter one form okay so if it is an employee id okay that would be a number right okay so for that okay it is integer okay so we'll discuss the data types very clearly okay integer uh, will have a so it will have separate data size even a small int we have a separate data size at big int we have a separate uh, data size okay that we will discuss later and then uh, name okay and then name okay and the name okay name is a character okay you can go with the char and then um, uh, what is that what one more uh, structure salary okay salary uh, salary is a money okay and uh, no, gender gender is a again okay, what cap and then enter and then close okay 
this will create the structure actually so this is the way so but every uh, you know so every column end with the comma okay after data type it should uh, have a comma after data type and then size okay so character you should you should have a size actually so how much characters okay so but integer it will not have and date it will not have any size but character uh, will have the size okay maybe 10 and then close it and then even character so you may have a 10 size and then close it okay something like that okay so now if you create it will create a structure just execute it okay so there is an execute button click on that okay so if you want to know the structure of that uh, table whether it's created like how it created and all if you want to see the structure sp underscore help sp underscore help and then give the table name okay so this is the system defined stored procedure case okay this is the system defined stored procedure okay so sql server already created the this stored procedure and then if you you if you give the table name okay it will give the output as a like what is the table name and then what are the columns when it is created and all okay the total information about the table okay see so table name and then owner and then user type and then okay uh, so when it is created and then what are the columns and then data types and then computed and then lens everything is this nullable or not okay so everything uh, related to uh, the table okay so is there any identity column are there any primary key and there any clustered uh, cluster index and all so everything it will give the details okay if you go with the help help text okay if you go with the sorry sp underscore help or else you can go with the like um, um, even you can use alt alt uh, f1 okay alt f1 also will give the same result actually alt f1 okay you can select the table and then press alt f1 okay this is also will give the same results okay what uh, sp underscore help okay how sp underscore help has given the details the same way uh, alt f1 also will give the same results okay so this is about the uh, you know uh, creating the table okay whatever the table guys okay whatever the table this is the syntax to follow okay this is the syntax to follow but suppose you want to you know uh, add one more column something phone number you got uh, so you forget to add the phone number so but you have to add after creating the table how to add that okay for that time okay which which command we have to go create alter or drop just type it guys we are uh, forget to add something okay so we have to alter yes we have to modify the table or we have to alter the table okay so that is the reason we'll go with the command for alter okay go with the alter table and then table name okay what is the table name uh, tbl employee is our table name okay so you can go and then select this uh, tbl employee table name and then if you want to add a column right okay add column right just go add and then column name okay suppose phone number okay phone number is a column and then integer okay phone number and then integer okay just go and add like this okay if you want to drop a column something suppose you have added okay so but if you want to see one more time okay just select alt f1 okay so whether the phone number is added or not okay just go and then see the phone number is added or not okay fifth column phone number is added now okay suppose if you want to drop a column okay if you want to delete a column again so which com which command we have to go and then uh, like so to drop uh, to drop a column so you have to go with the only alter command only so you have to select alter table table name and then drop column and then column name okay which column name you want to drop you can go and then drop that column name okay so then like that you will okay for alter and then see alter adding a column and then dropping the column okay dropping the column so now see the structure okay if you select the table and then fill press alt f1 okay whether the fifth column is there or not okay just check okay there is no fifth column now okay there is no fifth column okay like that you will add the columns and then you will drop the columns like that by using alter not only a uh, table modification guys okay if you want to alter a uh, view or alter a function alter a stored procedure whatever you want to alter okay so you will go with the alter command only okay you will go with the alter command yes
are you getting like what i'm saying is okay just we just now we discussed about the create and then alter okay is that clear so whatever we uh, yes super super okay this is totally about the structure whatever we are learning now so create alter and drop okay this totally talk about the structure okay it will not talk about the data we are not inserting any data deleting any data we are creating a structure and then we are altering the structure and then we are dropping the structure okay so if you want to uh, drop a structure okay then you can go with the drop table and then table name okay drop table table name okay it will drop the entire table okay if you uh, try to uh, you know see the details of this one okay if you try to press alt f1 okay there is no table okay table does not exist in a database that means so drop means it will delete entire table okay the table will not be there anymore okay it will not be there anymore okay drop will not not only use for the table dropping edge okay if you want to drop the uh, view and then view name okay and then drop uh, you know uh, drop a uh, function function name um, and then drop uh, procedure procedure name okay drop procedure procedure name and then uh, drop triggers triggers name so everything for everything if you want to clear then you can go and then clear that okay this is about the ddl command ddl commands only talk about the structure and then truncate will discuss later once insert the data we'll discuss that um, the next command is dml commands next command is dml commands dml means data manipulation language so this this commands will talk about the data okay like suppose the structure is already there okay by using dml we have created the structure and then if you want to insert the data so you will go like this okay so you will insert about the id okay you will insert about the id and then name okay name okay something like that okay to fill the data okay we'll go with the to fill or so to update something okay to update something and then um, you know to delete to delete a specific record okay to delete specific record we'll go with the what dml dml means data manipulation m means manipulation l means language d means data m means manipulation l means language okay to delete a data okay to delete a data or to update a data to insert a data to select the data in a table okay we'll go for dml okay dml will have the commands like what which commands will have dml insert update delete and then select okay select uh, some people may use the you know uh, uh, dql okay data query language something like that okay some people may call like that but it will come under dml also even dql also okay dql some people may call it as a dql okay so now so insert insert means okay so to insert the data okay to uh, insert the data like this okay dd dd so i don't want to insert all this record okay, okay just delete this okay um, i don't want to go with this many records okay so ddd and then salary something like this, okay this is insertion okay this is insertion okay we are inserting the data right okay this way it will insert okay so and then gender uh, male female male and then female okay something like that will fill the data okay to fill the data to insert the data we'll go with the dml command like suppose if you want to update okay this is not um, uh, female okay by mistakenly i have uh, so i kept uh, female but if you want to update that you can go and then okay so just you are updating like in excel like this but how to update in a you know so this thing and then if you, if you want to uh, delete the specific record it's fourth id id where we have id 4 and then i want to that delete that record okay just go and then delete okay this these things okay uh, we'll use that in, in a sql okay so hope you are getting right so now to to uh, write an insert okay to write insert we have a uh, two kind of syntaxes actually um <clears throat> if you write an insert okay insert okay 
into okay where you want to insert okay so suppose there is a box okay in that box so can you keep it into something okay that is natural language means okay sql means it's a natural language okay if you want to uh, ask okay if you are asking someone to keep it into that okay so whatever the material is there just keep it into there okay into into means so where is the structure okay where you have a structure in the structure you are going to insert into okay insert into okay just insert into the your structure name like what is the structure name and the table name is your structure so just insert into your table name and then values okay what are the values you want to insert okay so like whatever the columns you have okay the column one values comma column two values okay sorry here you will have the value one okay value one comma value two comma value three and so on so okay this is one kind of insert and there is one more kind of insert okay insert into okay you don't know you somehow you have created your table but you don't know the uh, sequence of the columns okay so if you know the sequence of the columns you can go directly like this but you don't know how uh, what is the uh, sequence of the columns okay you can go with the table name and then uh, column names okay what are the column names you have so column 1 comma column 2 okay column 2 comma column 3 okay and then so on so uh, and then values sorry yeah values open brackets and then value 1 comma value 2 comma so on so okay like this okay and there is one more kind of you know insert also there okay so let's like select into okay after um, you know uh, selection okay i will explain like this but still okay select the column 1 okay column 1 comma column 2 comma and so on so into okay some table name okay so which table name you want to insert okay from where from where table which table okay so from another table okay this is table 1 okay something like that okay this is the simple table table name okay so it will uh, select the columns and the, all columns and then insert into this okay this table okay these are the three ways we have uh, to insert the data into a table okay this you may not get clear here but uh, when you get the select command and all so that time you will understand very clearly okay for now we'll go with these two syntax okay so these are the two syntax okay let me go here and then insert insert into okay insert into the table name right okay this is our table name okay and uh, values okay the first one is values and then okay so i know the order okay i know the order like id name salary and then gender okay i know the order right so that is the reason i am going with the one two three and then name is something like a a and then uh, salary something uh, you know thirty thousand and then uh, gender is uh, male right okay something like that you can go and then write okay so if you give the like how to uh, the order and all okay if you know the order okay you no need to specify the column names uh, and then okay you execute it okay but it will execute the data okay so one row is affected but so another way what i said okay so you don't know how the table structure and all okay like how the order uh, table column order and all okay so just go and then um, you know select the insert into table and then columns okay like so you can go with the name first and then uh, gender okay you can go with the gender okay so this is your you you are going to give your order okay so whatever the order you want to give here okay you can give your column order and then you can insert the same way uh, in the values okay like salary and then uh, id okay so like this okay and then you go with the values okay and then open bracket now so whatever the order you define the column order you define here the same column order you should give okay uh, but if you give us something different okay the data conversion issue and all so you may face okay so uh, then after gender okay you can go with the female or uh, you know salary something okay Article and uh, id something one two four okay something like this you can go and then you can insert it and execute okay 
so this is the way we uh, we can uh, go with that okay whether the uh, data is inserted or not okay if you want to see that okay you can go with this uh, you know select star from okay this okay and then execute okay what is this star and all star means okay what how many columns you have in the table okay the same columns will come okay if you want to only select the specific columns okay I, uh, like you can go with the select id name and then salary and then gender okay something like that you can specify the column names and then you can execute it okay you can specify the column name you can execute it star means whatever the columns you have and then even you can uh, select the tables from here also like uh, so you can go to the table okay uh, there is a table okay you can right click on that and then select a thousand rows like that okay even you can select like that also okay it will select the uh, data for you okay so this is the insert command okay so how many records you want to insert and all okay by using this insert uh, command you can go and then insert the data into a table okay so this is about the insert case okay this is about the insert and then next uh, like so how many records so if you try to insert it uh, like this okay it will be inserted like multiple times okay if you want to insert like this execute 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 so it will say uh, how many times you execute okay that many times okay it will insert that see this many times we have executed uh, we have fired the query so that many times it's uh, inserted the data okay so like that you can go and then insert okay if you want to like how many records you want to insert just you can take a copy and then paste it take a copy paste it so like that okay you can paste it and then uh, you can change the name something like that okay you can change the values here and then uh, you can uh, execute the script okay it will execute the okay it will go and then insert the data but in real time not like that okay real time we may have okay we have the you know etl tools like ssis informatica okay it will it's a kind of engines okay whatever the data is there like uh, okay it will pull the data into and then it will run the jobs actually so like how the you know so motors will run and then pull the waters from the you know uh, like that so the same way uh, this also will uh, pull the you know, source files and then load the data into a database so the same way okay so the etl uh, to etl tools will do that even stored procedure also we can uh, stored procedure also by using stored procedure also we can do that etl operations okay uh, in, in sql uh, in sql also we can do the, that kind of thing but that the, that the things can do the you know stored procedures just a minute guys okay so this is about the um, insert command so any questions so far okay everything is clear or any questions uh, so i will take the questions uh, if you are clear uh, just uh, the regards okay so now we'll discuss about the update now okay so far uh, we discussed about the insert right okay if you want to uh, go with the update or delete okay so you can uh, go and then uh, write the update okay update means okay here uh, three commands is very very important okay update and then set and then where okay these are the three commands are very very important to update anything okay so update means okay we'll update the table okay will update the table name here and then set means okay you will set the columns column values column equal to some value okay whatever the value question mark means the value and then so where okay the specific record where where we will use for the specific record and then so on so column okay so we'll go with the so on so column and then column values and then okay here you may have one more condition okay comma and then you can set up with the multiple columns okay you can set you can go with the set multiple columns okay comma and then so go with the values okay something like that okay this is the syntax case okay update set and where okay update means okay which which table you want to update okay the table name and then set means okay which car okay which column you want to set the values okay updating means okay you are going to update something in a uh, column right okay which column okay you want to set the values okay for which columns you want to set the values and then you can go with the specific record okay if you go if you don't go with, so where in class is optional okay 
without using where class also you can update that but the thing is okay if you don't use the where class the entire table will be updated okay so let me go here and then write some update command update and then so our table name is tbl employee right okay you can go and then select this table name okay so here is the table name okay and then set set means okay which column you want to set okay set okay suppose uh, uh column name i am taking the gender okay i am taking the gender gender okay equal to gender equal to i want to set female okay if i if i execute like this okay without where class if i execute like this okay the total gender will be female okay if you don't specify which record you are updating something like that okay if i execute like this okay if i execute like this see it's executed uh, uh, so it's affected first the seven rows okay but if you go and then select this uh, table now okay if you see like what what is it what it is updated and all okay see it's changed the all genders to female okay so that is the reason you have to use the specific where class hope you are clear with that okay so hope you are clear with that okay update set and then where okay where may be optional but you have to use the where okay which record you want to update okay so if you set something like that okay so let me you know drop it this table again so so let me drop this table again so and then we'll recreate okay drop table that table name Only two records is enough, but I don't want to go with like uh, so. Go with the two four and then two five something. Like that. Then this is a female and then this is a male. Two records is enough. So just go and then it's good. Okay. So now, uh, if you go and then select this, okay. Now you go and then select this, okay. So these are the records we have, okay. One two, one two three, one two three, one two four, and then one two five, okay. So now, okay, if you set up the where class, okay. If you go with the where class, okay. So gender is equal to female, where ID is equal to ID, okay. ID is equal to one two three, okay. One two three, or ID is equal to one two four. Okay, one to four is already uh, female. Okay, you can go and then set male, or else you can go with the comma and then salary. Okay, if you you want to increase the salary, okay, salary is equal to suppose some forty or something like that. Okay, so you can uh, go with the multiple. Uh, you know, you can set up multiple uh, values. Okay, multiple column values in the set command. Okay, you can go with the set command. Okay, so better you can go with the you know like um, so enter and then. So you can all add a number of columns like this. Okay, you can go with the commas updated, and then okay, this will be a format. Okay, you, you should follow this format. Okay, so columns should be follow like this. Okay, so whenever you follow this, you know, uh, formats. Okay, people will think. Okay, so like so, if you follow this format kind of things when you are writing, you know, a starting query and then naming convention with the, you know, so you are now in the, you know. a uh, learning stage right okay so if you follow this kind of you know things okay that would be a uh, very good like uh, the naming convention and everything okay even formats and everything if you follow from the learning stage okay that would be a uh, very uh, good actually so even people will okay well you are writing the code okay that looks very beautiful and then uh, even in real time also that will be our habit okay okay so just will uh, execute like this and then see that okay whether it is updated perfectly or not okay so whether it is updated perfectly or not okay then go here and then see okay which record 1 2 4 right 1 2 4 okay we have changed uh, gender male and then we increase the salary okay like this okay we can update even in where class also you can go with the multiple conditions okay so like the conditions in where class how to uh, go with the different different uh, you know 
like and condition in condition in operator like operator between operator okay so all this we will discuss in the select statement okay that we will discuss in the select statement but so after that you can go and then you can apply here also but the thing is okay you can, you can have a multiple conditions here also okay so that is the update okay so you are getting right okay so how to update sorry how to update the table and all okay so this is about the update command now we'll discuss about the delete and then truncate okay so delete and then truncate we'll discuss about the delete and then truncate okay so delete and then truncate both will both will do the same task but the thing is okay we have a differences okay just uh, let me go here Let's see for So here is the difference, right? Okay, delete is a DML command, and then truncate is a DDL command. Okay, delete structure will be remain same, but the data will be deleted. Okay, what is that means? The structure remains same, and then data will be deleted means. Okay, so where is the another Excel? Okay, so here is another Excel. Okay, so the data will be deleted. Okay, the data will be deleted. Okay, the structure remains same. Okay, this is the meaning of that point. Okay. The data will be deleted. The structure remains same. Even truncate also, okay. Truncate also, data will be deleted, and the structure remains same. Okay. So, but what is the difference? Okay. But delete go row by row. Okay. Delete go row by row, and then delete the records. That is the reason. So, if you see the performance wise, okay, delete will be fast performance. Sorry, truncate will be fast performance. What truncate will do? Truncate will lock the table at a time and then delete the total records at a time. Okay, but uh, delete will go row by row and then delete the records. That is the reason. Okay, so if you have, if you delete the only uh, five records or ten records or hundred records, these are the few records. Okay, less less than uh, you know thousand records, right? Okay, you may not see that much performance issue, but when you have the lacks of records, okay, definitely delete will be slow and then truncate will be fast. And then one more thing is that okay in delete you can use where class and then you can go with you can go and then delete a specific record in a table okay so suppose I want to delete ID two record okay entire record so where we have ID two that entire record if you want to delete okay you can use the delete command then you can go and then delete the specific record by using delete command but uh, truncate is not like that truncate will delete only entire the uh, table data. Um, not specific record, but delete have that option. Okay, both will participate in the transactions. Okay, the transactions will discuss. Okay, so let me go here. So what are the difference? Okay, even here also the structure will be remain same, but the data will be deleted. And then you can use the where class to delete a specific record in the delete. And then truncate is not like that. Okay, you cannot use where class. Okay, that we will see whatever the points we are discussing. Guys, okay, we'll see that practically. And then performance wise, okay, it will be, uh, you know, performance wise, uh, it will be slow compared to truncate. Okay, performance wise will be fast compared to delete. And then uh, drop, okay, drop. So people may ask the interview question, okay, these three commands. Okay, drop is only, you know, uh, it's a DDL command. It will drop the entire, you know, even structure also, okay. The structure also uh, will not be there, okay. Even the structure also will not be there. Okay, it will totally clear this all things okay there is no structure and all okay that, that is the drop okay that is the drop okay so now we'll see the points okay so how we can use the delete and all okay we'll go with that okay delete from what table okay so delete from the table if you write delete from the table okay it will delete entire uh, all records actually okay so the total records will be deleted okay if you go if you want to go with the specific record like where id is equal to uh, where ID is equal to one to five, something like that. Okay. If you want to go with that type, okay. Or one to four. Okay. So just go like that and then execute it. Okay. It's executed successfully. Okay. And then, uh, go with the select statement. Okay. Whether it is executed or not, let, let's check that. Okay. Select star from a table. Okay. So, and then execute it. Okay, see, there is no one to four ID. There is no one to four ID. So, that's deleted. Okay, 
so that that's where we can go and then we can delete a specific reward if you want to okay without where class if you want to delete okay just just go and then okay if you if you don't use where class okay it will delete entire table data okay it will delete entire table data just go and then execute it so three records is done okay the table structure remains same okay id name column and gender is also there but so it's deleted the entire records okay so if you go and then insert one more time the records okay just okay so three rows affected okay just go and then select it okay see uh these three records are there okay but if you use the truncate case okay truncate or truncate uh table truncate table and then table name okay if you use the truncate table table name okay then uh, if you run this okay this this is also will truncate the entire records okay entire records in a table okay there is no records now okay if you try to use a where class in a truncate okay if you try to use a where class in a truncate okay what will happen so okay, we will see that so we cannot use where class we discussed right okay in the truncate okay you cannot use the where class okay you can go with the id and then id is equal to one two three i want to delete okay then just try to execute it okay in truncate you cannot use okay you cannot use the where class okay where class there is a syntax error now where class okay something like that okay hope you are clear with that okay what is the delete and then truncate and then okay so these things okay so we'll also discuss about the data types okay here is the data types okay Dif different types of data types we have right okay what are the different types of data types we have okay so like uh, uh, characters we have four types of uh, data types like car and n var car uh, n car uh, var car something like that okay we'll discuss okay what is the car and then n car n var car n var, n var car and all and then what is the int small int and big int and then uh, money and then big money something like that and then date also we have okay in date we have date date type or date time uh, date time to okay something okay different different kinds of uh, date data types also there okay we'll discuss okay so even the sizes okay which size we have to go and when to use this care and then when to use where care and all we'll discuss uh, detail tomorrow um, and also we'll also discuss about this select statement and all okay so uh, that's it for today okay tomorrow we'll discuss uh, some more uh, concepts okay so hope you are 